Netflix has been working on a series for the horror video game series Resident Evil for quite some time. However, specific details have been withheld so far. This changed a few days ago when Netflix accidentally published the description of the series, which was deleted shortly afterwards. But of course, resourceful fans can still access the description. After all, the internet never forgets. It's not really detailed, but it gives us a rough idea of the story. It says, The town of Clearfield, Maryland has long stood in the shadow of three seemingly unrelated behemoths. The Umbrella Corporation, the decommissioned Greenwood Asylum and Washington DC. Today, 26 years after the discovery of the T-Virus, secrets held by the three will start to be revealed at the first signs of outbreak. So, if you believe this description, the Resident Evil series will be about a completely new plot. Besides the well-known Umbrella Corporation, there are supposed to be two more black sheep. The release date of the series is unfortunately not yet known. After Aladdin was very successful in cinemas around the world last year, it's no wonder that a sequel would not be long in coming. As Variety now reports, Aladdin 2 will be released, but will not consider the fan request for a remake of Jafar's Return. It is said that authors John Gaddins and Andrea Berloff have been working on the sequel for the past six months, but the plot will have nothing to do with Jafar's Return from 1994. It is believed that the second part will be more about Jasmine and Jeannie, played by Naomi Scott and Will Smith. Nevertheless, it's not 100% clear at this point of time if the cast of the first part will fully return. Of course, we will keep you up to date with more news about the production of Aladdin 2. A few days ago, Sony announced the start date of a still nameless Marvel film on October 8, 2021. But it is not yet officially known which film it is. In the past, Craven the Hunter, Madame Webb, Silk and also Black Cat and Silver Sable were considered. Furthermore, a comeback of the Sinister Six still seems to be in the works. The majority of the fans on the net suspect a Spider-Woman part with Jessica Drew. The year 2021 seems to be quite packed anyway. While Marvel has five movies in the past, pipeline with Shang-Chi, Doctor Strange 2, Thor 4 and Spider-Man 3 and the yet unknown Marvel Sony movie, DC has three titles planned with the long-awaited The Batman, Black Adam and The Suicide Squad. So far 2021 seems to be a dream year for superhero fans and who knows what surprises Marvel and DC still have in store for us. Already in 2008, a film adaptation of the classic board game Cluedo was announced. This is supposed to be based on the cult film Clue the Movie from 1985. As it is often the case, the production of Cluedo was pushed further and further back for years until star actor Ryan Reynolds and his colleague Jason Bateman finally wrote a script at the end of 2019 and left the direction to the latter. As Variety now reports, this is not going to happen as Bateman is still committed to the series Ozark. A suitable replacement could be found soon because according to information from Variety, Alice in Wonderland 2 director James Robin is currently in discussion for the job. The plot of Cluedo revolves around six people unknown to each other who meet in a remote house for a party. It happens as it has to as suddenly one of them dies. Little by little, the secrets of the guests come to light and the search for the killer begins. Unfortunately, there is no information about a possible release date at the moment. This year's Oscars made history. On the one hand, with its moderate viewing figures, and on the other hand, with Parasite winning an Oscar in the category Best Film for the first time as a non-English speaking film. But not only that, Parasite also won the most Oscars overall, including the categories Best Director and Best Screenplay. In second place is the war drama 1917, which was awarded three gold statues. The category Best Leading Actor was won by Joaquin Phoenix, Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, on the other hand, could only celebrate two awards. There is currently no specific date for the 2021 Oscar Awards, but it will most likely take place again between February and March.